Hello, everybody. Andrea here with Dental L. I want to talk to you guys and give you the honest um, review and why on those like do-it-yourself vibrating sonic electric toothbrush. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to show you guys a picture right now. I'm getting a lot of people asking me about them, including friends and family, just people wanting their my opinion on the topic. Since I'm a dental hygienist, I talk about toothbrushing, flossing, all of this. So what these are, they are considered electric toothbrushes that you plug in, recharge, and you just basically put it in your mouth, turn it on, and those bristles, if you want to call them bristles, vibrate and they're supposed to clean the mouth. But I'll tell you why I do not like them, but I'm also going to tell you why it might be better than nothing. Okay. So I'm doing a couple different things here. So I don't like them because how do toothbrushes work to clean the teeth and prevent gum disease, prevent cavities? Our toothbrushes are a mechanical removal of plaque from your teeth. So you actually moving that toothbrush is what's removing the plaque from the teeth. And the toothpaste is helping apply that protective, healthy coating on the teeth afterwards to really prevent cavities, um, prevent gum disease. If you're brushing with just water, that's still better than nothing. But the, to the toothpaste, you do need that um, to just provide that protective coating and the extra good stuff you need on your teeth. So these electric sonic toothbrushes, which I'm gonna show you my screen again, you're putting them in your mouth and it's vibrating, but there's not enough mechanical action happening to remove the plaque. So you're putting it in your mouth or your child is putting it in their mouth and it's not cleaning anything. It's not. It might be cleaning that very light plaque that just formed one hour ago, but it's not going to clean that thick stuck on plaque. So it's not doing a very good job. Okay. But I'm going to go a different way and tell you why it might be better than nothing. If you have a child who's, you know, just doesn't want to brush, they don't like it. Um, at least you can give them that and it's doing something. There are children out there that just simply don't want to brush, um, but they're going to get cavities. I tell parents, you're going to have to force your children to brush. I'm sorry. It is what it is. It's kind of like when you force your child to go to the doctor to get a needle or whatever. It is what it is. Your child's not always going to like you. But if you don't force them to brush, they're going to get cavities. If they get cavities, then you have to force them to get the cavity fixed. And that's a lot worse than just brushing the teeth. You know, we have to give them a needle to put the tooth to sleep. We have to spend probably at least a half an hour putting in a filling. Your child has to stay there with their mouth open perfectly still for half an hour. So it's definitely ideal to prevent these things first. And prevention means proper toothbrushing. So one last time, you guys, I'm going to show you that picture. I do not like these sonic electric toothbrushes. It's too good to be true. Toothbrushing isn't that easy, okay? I mean, it is easy. This makes it even easier, if you will. You just have to put something in your mouth, and it's vibrating, apparently, the plaque away, but it's not that easy. It's not vibrating much away at all. Please stick to regular toothbrushing either a manual toothbrush or an electric, whichever one you prefer or your child prefers. I'm going to talk about in another video, um, manual toothbrushes versus electric toothbrushes and which ones are better, depending on if you're a child, if you're an adult, um, and kind of what you need for your teeth. If you're cold sensitive, if you get a lot of cavities, if you never get cavities, if your child doesn't like brushing, what might work? So I'm going to talk about that in another video. Comment below if you have any questions. I'm very happy to help and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.